Welcome to the Forecast Pro XE guided tour. Forecast Pro XE packages a wide variety of forecasting methods in an easy to use interface. The methods include exponential smoothing, box Jenkins, simple moving averages, discrete data models, intermittent data models, curve fitting, dynamic regression, event models, and multiple level models. You can bring in your data from a variety of different sources, including Excel or Lotus spreadsheets, text files, or directly from a relational database using ODBC. This is the Forecast Pro main menu. We'll begin by reading in a spreadsheet. ABC Photo contains monthly demand data for different types of cameras and film. Our next step will be to find the script. A script is a list of items that you wish to forecast. I'll select the variable iCamera by double clicking on it. This puts it on our script and I'll click OK to accept it. When you process a script, Forecast Pro automatically reads in the data and generates the forecast. The green line on the graph is the demand history. The red line is the forecast. And the blue lines are the confidence limits. iCamera represents monthly sales of an instant developing camera. If we take a look at the data, we see that the first big peak falls in December. The next one in November, and November, and November. So we obviously have a very seasonal series, and our forecasts reflect this. I'm going to reduce the size of the graph so that we can take a closer look at the text portion of the report. This first section details the logic that expert selection used to decide on an appropriate forecasting method. Expert selection tests the data in various ways and uses a combination of rule-based logic and out-of-sample testing to decide on the appropriate forecasting technique. In this case, the rule-based logic narrowed down the choice of forecasting models to exponential smoothing or box Jenkins. To choose between these two remaining approaches, expert selection then performed an out-of-sample analysis. Based on exponential smoothing's superior performance in the out-of-sample test, it elected to use exponential smoothing. The next section of the report provides a detailed description of the forecasting model used, including the model parameters and the fitted values. The following section of the report provides a set of summary statistics for the model. And finally, the final section displays the forecast numerically. It should be noted that you can easily customize both the graph and the text report to suit your needs. Forecast Pro provides four pre-formatted report styles. Forecast Only is the simplest and limits the text report to a display of the forecast. Basic provides a listing of the model used without all of the supporting details, a small set of the most commonly used statistics, and a listing of the forecasts and confidence limits. The standard report is quite detailed and is the one we toured previously. Complete includes all information known about the forecasting model, and custom allows you to completely customize the display. I'm going to make the graph a little bigger here. And now let's explore the graphical options. You can elect to include or not include various components, such as the fitted values and the confidence limits. We can add titles. Let's type one in here. And we'll put in some labels on the axis as well. If you want, you can change the uh, layout of the graph. Here's a 3D line graph. Here's a 3D column. Here's the line graph, and let's add the points. Another option is to view the graph in a year-over-year -year format. The green line is 2004, the blue 2005, and the red is the forecast. 
Notice how consistent the seasonal pattern is, particularly in the June to February period. I'm going to switch back to the time series graph and select 3D line. In our current example, we're only forecasting one item. To make this more interesting, let's go back to our script and look at all of the cameras in film. I'm going to open up a script which I had saved previously. This script defines groups for total sales, total sales of cameras, and total sales of film, along with the end items. We forecast that, and notice that the navigator now allows us to view reports for any of the end items and groups. All of our forecasts are currently being generated using expert selection. Expert selection works extremely well, and many of our users rely upon it. However, if you'd prefer to dictate that certain models be built for specific items, this is fully supported and easy to do. Let's open the Model Settings tab. This tab allows me to select any forecasting me method that I wish for the current item, in this case, color film. I'll choose exponential smoothing. Notice that I can choose a standard model, like Simple, Holt, or Winters, or build a custom model where I can completely control all of the details. Any model that I choose will immediately be displayed in the Report tab. Forecast Pro has an installed base of over 25,000 users who range from forecasting novices to advanced pros. This is why we offer everything from completely automated forecasting to completely customized modeling. This is the Override tab. The Override tab allows you to make judgmental adjustments to the statistical forecasts in a variety of ways. For example, you can type in new values in the Override cells, or select a range of cells, and then change it by a percentage, or by incrementing each period by a certain number of units, or perhaps changing the total of the selection to the desired value. Suppose we know that we're running a promotion on this color film in June, July, and August, and expect it to push up demand by 25%. We can highlight the range, spin the percentage up to 25, and click on the button. Notice that the proposed changes are shown in red on the grid, and are also displayed on the graph. If we commit to the changes, they change from red to black, and the graph is updated. Any adjustments you make will be reflected across the entire hierarchy. Thus, adjustments at a group level are pushed down to end items, and adjustments to end items are pushed back to the higher groups. Let's return to the Report tab. After you've generated your forecast and entered any desired overrides, you can save your forecast to a spreadsheet, text file, or relational database. If you save the forecast to Excel, the workbook will contain a worksheet for each item forecasted containing the forecast report. The report's contents and format will match the current reports displayed on the Forecast Pro Report tab. In addition, there will be a worksheet containing numeric output for all items forecasted. The numeric output worksheet's format and content will match the current selection in Forecast Pro's numeric output tab. Let's open the numeric output tab and see how this works. Notice there's a column for each item that we forecasted, and we can customize this display using the curtain. For instance, we can turn on and off different components, and change the format, maybe we'll put it in rows, or not. And we could adjust the precision. Let's just show integers. At this point, let's save it out to Excel. And let's go to Excel and see what it looks like. Here's the Excel output. This is the numeric output worksheet. And these are the forecast reports. As you can see, the contents and format matches the settings in Forecast Pro. We work through this example fairly slowly, but I'd like to point out that the basic program operation is extremely simple. You read in your data. You create a script. You generate the forecast. There are some optional steps, like viewing reports, or making overrides, or perhaps building custom models. And when you're satisfied, 
you save your work. It's really an extremely simple and straightforward process. This demo showcased the basic features of Forecast Pro XE. There are many capabilities that we did not explore, including building dynamic regression models, using event models to capture promotions and business interruptions, automatically adjusting for trading days and 445 calendars, performing out-of-sample tests, and much, much more. Thank you for viewing the guided tour. The best way to evaluate Forecast Pro XE is to take advantage of our 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Purchase the software from BFS and evaluate it using your own data for 30 days. If it does not completely satisfy your needs for any reason, simply return the package for a full refund. If you have any questions about Forecast Pro or would like to place an order, please contact us.